Josh. Uh, yeah, over yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we, we want to review some of the stories that you know made the headlines this morning on the dailies and the newspapers. And one of the ch most trending stories this morning is the issue with the police force and Shane Kuti. Uh, how do you react to you know the altercation between Shane Kuti and the police officer? You see, when I first read the story, I think so four days ago or so. I felt so bad mm. because what she had done is the total negation of the culture of Fela Nikola Kokuti himself. Mm. Fela, there's no day Fela Nikola Kokuti was not in the news while alive. Even when it was his rights were being trampled upon, you will never see him being unruly to that to that concept of nationhood mm. because for sure to have slapped a policeman not just a policeman but a uniform is height of impunity and a slap on you and i because that policeman represents nigeria so how can you how can you descend well, well, no matter how that guy might have harassed you embarrassed you or whatever you have no temerity to do that that is what we call cities i mean civilian brutality mm. on the force so the, the other time we're having answers we now ends civilian brutality on the force Along the line, some people were now trying to bring in ethnic sentiment into it. That uh, the IGP of police is full and knee. Do we know whether that person too is the full and knee or not? Do we have do we have to do that? Do we have to do that? Oh, but, but part of the conversation, you know, uh, uh, it's been in the news that he might be charged to court, but until then. Uh, Xiong had come out to claim that this guy was going to attack him. I mean, the police officer was going to attack him and his family. So, you know, there's been this conversation around when you have the impulse to protect your wife and your children. And, you know, that's probably why he would, you know, react that way to the police officer. How do you react to that? There's no doubt about it that even the constitution allows it mm. for you to protect yourself at any point in time when you are about to be attacked. But the issue is this. Can he substantiate that? But he said he has a video. Can he? I'm asking a question. Mm. Can he substantiate that? All over the world, people can substantiate his harassment of the police. Can he also substantiate his own for the whole world to see? One, two. You can see that the policeman have been smarter than him. That's why the father, according to the news that he gave the policeman 12,000 naira or whatever, he had gone ahead of him to report to the police, to report to the necessary authority. That's why being a policeman. Now, if this guy had been trying to harass you and your family, who had you reported to? Have you ever made it known to the concerned authorities? Have you ever? If you haven't, will people not say, it's afterthoughts. Mm. No, these are issues that we need to look at objectively. All right? When you are saying the life of the citizens matters, then the lives of our security agents also matters. It's part of pursuit.